Hello everybody and welcome to the poor man's chemist. In this video we are going to be processing my mercury waste because I had quite a lot of it and I really need to do something with it. Um, I have been working for the last few days on evaporating this shit down. Originally this fucker was almost full. I've been collecting mercury waste from every experiment where I've made anything with mercury for years now. I couldn't even tell you what all is in this, man. I mean, I keep smelling acetic acid, so I know all the mercury or mercuric acetate um, experiment waste is in there. So it goes back at least that far. Uh, <laughs> man, this is going to be crazy. But mercury has a unique enough chemistry that I think this should be reasonably easy to pull off. I don't think that I've added any other kind of metals or anything to it, so th this shouldn't be too terribly bad, I hope. So, um, yeah, it, the first step is to evaporate it down, so and then we get to a more manageable volume, we can actually get to work on this bitch. I'm thinking we'll start off by trying to oxidize the bejesus out of everything in there, and if that is a mercurous salt then we should be able to oxidize it to the mercuric salt, which should go into solution. So I'm thinking like HCl with a nitrate or HCl with nitric acid, which I've got to make some, or just say fuck it all and bubble chlorine gas through it for hours until it finally fucking oxidizes. All of these are viable routes, so I don't know. I guess you'll see here in just a second in the next clip which way I decided to go. I will come back when this shit is finally evaporated down to a manageable volume that we can actually work with. All right, people. So after days of evaporating this shit down to a volume that is manageable that we can actually do something with, um, and then being put out of commission for days because thunderstorms wanted to pop up every goddamn afternoon about one or two hours after I got off work, which just didn't give me enough time to set this up and run this shit. Um, we are finally ready to move on. Now, the first step is going to be to oxidize what I strongly suspect is mostly mercuric chlor or mercurous chloride into mercuric chloride. We want to convert all of the mercury to the plus two oxidation state because, I don't know if it's showing up on video or not here, let's see. Hello, focus. Um, are we focused or? Yeah, okay, whatever. Anyway, the point, it will, you'll be able to see, there it is. You can see there are chunks of debris in this stuff. I think one of them is a dead fly. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the um, small amount of acetic acid in here. It kind of had a very faint vinegary smell, but this stuff as it was evaporating down seemed to attract bugs like crazy. <laughs> and they flew into milk of mercury to their certain death. It was also like boiling hot, so yeah, that didn't help either. So anyway, yes. Um, we have to oxidize everything to the plus, or all the mercury to the plus two oxidation state so it will go into solution so we can filter out the dead flies. I swear, man, this channel is fucking nuts. <laughs> um, anyway, so I've got this shit heating up here. Hello. There we go. We've got our chlorine generator set up here. Um, once this gets hot, I'm going to add some hydrochloric acid to this because we need HCl in there and then we will bubble chlorine gas through it and what that does is that creates trichloride ion that oxidizes the mercury and all of that fairly insoluble mercurous chloride should go into solution. So anyway, here we go. Okay, man, I have chlorinated the shit out of this thing, and it is a lot more clarified than it was before. There is still some kind of insoluble matter that just may not dissolve, and that might just be how it is. Um, and that's okay if that's the case. It is clarifying to a very large degree. I had to add... Um, about 50 mils of concentrated nitric acid to it. So we've got aqua regia 
and trichloride ion. I'm not even sure if they react with each other or not, man. I basically just chucked every fucking oxidizer in there because I grew impatient. Um, because I know from previous experience that oxidizing mercurous ion to mercuric ion like this is kind of a pain in the ass just because it's so inefficient. The gas stays in contact with the liquid for such a short period of time. I would need a taller column, stronger heating, better stirring. I mean, it could do it more efficiently if you did it like that, but it would also make it more dangerous. So it's kind of a trade-off here, you know. We get a nice gentle bubbling and it's kind of okay. I don't know. We've had some nice bursts of gas come out of there. I got some nice heavy gloves, <laughs> rubber gloves to wear to fucking clean all this shit up because there's aerosol on everything. Ugh. Fucking mercury, man. Such a pain in the ass. Anyway, I will come back when I've got this thing done and it's settled down a little bit and I have cleaned up this fucking mess. Okay, I hope this is showing up. I'm sorry. The sun is just at an awkward position right now. But this is what we got. I chlorinated the living fuck out of this and added some more nitric acid to it. So... I think all of the mercury has gone into solution as mercurous chloride. What's left is this almost solid mass of material that I don't think is mercury. I think it's just other junk. It's kind of, cor kind of formed this um, solid lump, just like the sheet. It's very weird. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to filter this damn thing and then I guess discard the solid because I don't think it's mercury. Um, I mean, even the stuff that was stuck to the sides of the beaker has been dissolved from the chlorine. So I'm pretty sure that's just other stuff that isn't mercury that would not dissolve. So anyway, I will filter this and then I will come back once that's done and we will figure out what we're going to do next. Okay, everybody, so it has been several days since the last clip because every time I try to get out here, it starts to fucking thunderstorm for the last like five goddamn days in a row, I think. We've had so thunderstorms in the afternoon and then for the last few days, they've been in the mornings because I haven't had to work in the morning, see? On those days, I had to work in the afternoon. So then the thunderstorms came through in the morning because naturally, I swear to God. Anywho, um, so yeah, I have been working on this. It, what's really held things up is that this had to be filtered hot to make sure that any mercuric chloride that would have crystallized out went back into solution before I filtered off all the so insoluble matter to discard it. Um, so, I mean, this is mercury. Basically, the steam, I mean, is coming off of what it really amounts to mercuric chloride. There's nitrate in there, too, so I guess we could call it mercuric nitrate as well. I don't want to breathe steam that's potentially laden with that shit, man. I mean, I learned that from arsenic trioxide. Beware the steam that comes off this fucking kind of stuff. <laughs> I, I No, I don't need to be bit twice, man. So, anyway, um, finally, finally getting this all filtered. You can see we have a nice beautiful clarified solution oh and i got some nice um heavy duty gloves for this shit man my roommate got me these they're nice like laminated i don't know what they're laminated with some kind of rubber gloves but they actually have a good grip too it's amazing so yes for everybody get some gloves well here you go i've got some gloves so you know de wad your panties there um so yeah i have been working on this guys the next step is I think we're going to go with dropping out the mercury as mercuric oxide by rendering this alkaline. That is something that I can do in the shed, thankfully. Um, so long as we're not getting like, you know, wrath of God, thunderstorms and lightning. Um, you know, I'll show you guys why, you know, like there's the shed. 
and there's some big ass trees, man. And just, you know, little kids know you don't stand under trees in the middle of a fucking thunderstorm and to die that way. I mean, I, I could never live it down, man. I would die all over again from the embarrassment because what a stupid way to die, right? Um, oh, there was also a little bit of metallic mercury that I recovered from everything. Hello. Come on. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see that or not in there. That was probably from decomposition of the mercurous compound in there by sunlight. So, yes, there was a little bit. That's the thing about recycling mercury waste is that you're always going to need to start a second waste container immediately. Unless you, like, want to deal with that. And at this point, I very much do not. This has already been dragging out for fucking ever taking a lot longer than I thought that it was going to. And I think some people are getting annoyed, too thinking that I'm like working on the book in lieu of making videos. No, I'm working on the book because I can't make any progress with the videos. <laughs> so yes, and for anybody that doesn't know, yes, I am writing a book on home chemistry um, for both amateurs and professionals. It's going to be actually pretty good. Um, it's going to have, it's going to cover all manners of shit. I've gotten the first, the introduction, which was the hardest part to write. Um, finally got that done. I swear to God, I worked on that fucker for weeks trying to get it right because it kind of sets the tone for the rest of the book. And I finally, finally came up with something that I was happy with. So now I've gotten actually into the actual meat and potatoes of it. And as I predicted, that's been turning out to be a lot easier to write. So, but yes, um, if you're interested, I'll, I'll post some stuff in the comments about it. I don't really want to talk too much more about it right now because, you know, I'm still working on, like, chapter one. But, um, yes, I, several people have asked me to do this over the years, and I, I think it's a good idea. So, I am working on that. When I'm not, wor you know, when I can't work on the fucking videos, at least I can get something done, right? Anyhow. I will come back when we are ready to drop out the mercuric oxide and then we will move on to the next step. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what you are looking at here is a test that I did to see which was a better reducing agent to try to drop the mercury out of solution as the metal, hydrazine sulfate or sodium borohydride. As I have come to discover, sodium borohydride is vastly more efficient at this task. I had concerns that it would form some kind of weird mix with the borate, but I don't know. As JR pointed out in um, the comments on the YouTube community post, it, you know, boron and borate really shouldn't do a whole lot with metallic mercury so he's probably right he seems to know his stuff most of the time so anyway what the plan here is at this point is to zoom out hello zoom yes we'd like to zoom out now yay <laughs> so we have our solution over here of mercurius nitrate chloride whatever it's a mix of all, all of these things um there's some acetate ion in there too what we need to do is evaporate this bitch down some right because it's at about eight and almost 900 mils here okay that's better yes people might like to see it so what we need to do is evaporate this down maybe to about 500 mils or so. Adjust the pH down or up rather um, with some aqueous sodium hydroxide, not to the point that it's alkaline. I just want to adjust the pH to the point that it's about five or six. And the reason that I want to do that is because the borohydride will um, work perfectly well at that pH. It does need to be mildly acidic. Um, for some things, it can also be alkaline, but in this case, if we make it too alkaline, mercuric oxide will start to drop out. Initially, I was going to do that, but then I started thinking it usually comes out as like this big, clumpy, pasty mess, and that will probably trap impurities that are in solution here. So what I want to do is adjust the, you know, reduce the volume, adjust the pH to something that's, you know, not quite so wildly acidic as this, which has probably has a pH of like one, <laughs> if not zero. Um, 
And then once I, I've adjusted the pH there, we're going to drop out all of the metal using sodium borohydride. Then we can decant off all of the liquid and that will remove all of the other non-metallic impurities out of the mercury. I do not believe there are any other metals in there. Okay, um, I'm usually pretty meticulous about not mixing various metals because, you know, when I put this stuff in waste, I've always got in mind, eventually I'm going to have to recycle this shit. So um, compounds that have mixed metals in them, that, that's one reason that I don't recycle them. I tend to just put them in a little vial on the shelf and store them. Um, so, yeah. I'm thinking that, you know, we can separate out the mercury just like we did in that test tube there, decant off the solution, redissolve that mercury back in nitric acid, increase the volume of that some, then drop that out as the oxide and then go from there. I will have to make some more nitric acid because of course I will, but that at least is routine shit that I can do in the shed if I need to, so weather won't be an issue there. I'm really seriously thinking of breaking this video up into multiple parts because it is just getting so goddamn long. Anywho, um, yeah, I think I am going to do that, actually. So why don't we just call this the end of part one, and I will come back with part two, and we will begin with this stuff having been pH adjusted and dropping out the mercury as the metal because I know that's the part that you guys want to see. Another reason that I really want to reduce the volume down some is because that is going to fizz like a motherfucker. Mercury might be heavy, but fizz produces aerosols. Aerosols could still have mercuric ion in it. They could have little bitty, teeny tiny particles of metallic mercury. Aerosols are like dust, man. You need to seriously, seriously beware them. Um, and so we want to keep as much of that shit trapped in the beaker as possible. So, anyway, I will come back when we are ready to move on.